Children are born scientists, so why wait until they start school to introduce them to the real world of science? Hi everyone, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to share with you five simple DIY science experiments that we did recently. Some of you might have tried them already, but for all those of you who haven't, you gotta try them because apart from being fun, these science experiments would really stimulate your little one's curiosity and imagination and would encourage some great science conversation. So with no further ado, let's see what those five experiments are. The first experiment we did was sink or float. Although it is such a simple experiment, it really got our little one's brain and hands super excited. So to do this, we collected small objects from around the house and made a guess before dropping them into the bowl of water with the appropriate label. This one is floating. Sink. Magnets are fun. So recently we got some magnets and apart from using them to play pretend, we used them to learn about magnetic energy. So we collected small objects from around the house and had a great time finding out which objects were magnetic and which were non-magnetic. No, not magnetic. <gasps> What's that? Magnetic! Yeah. And apart from doing this a couple of times, I tried to show off my magical talent to my son. And you know what? I really got him. Because as you can see, his expression was priceless. Can you see this? Here, We all know that consuming a lot of food colors is really not healthy. But using them to help little ones learn more about colors are just what they are meant for. So I filled up six clear containers with one part water and one part milk and played around with their colors. And here you go, our seven colors of the rainbow. If you fold this, what will happen? So apart from learning about the colors, as you can see, we did some real mixing. And here is our final finding. <laughs> Who does not like airplanes? Well, this experiment explains how airplanes fly. The Bernoulli's love. But I didn't care to explain all that to our toddler, so we simply spoke about gravity and had so much fun floating the plastic ball using the hair dryer. We also tried flying balloons. Feathers and papers. We even tried flying toy cars, but we couldn't, so we ended up racing them. In the last experiment, we learned a little bit more about the most essential substance on Earth that's water. So we filled our ice cube tray with water and left it in the freezer for two hours. After two hours, we had a great time talking about how water becomes ice when cooled. Water becomes ice. We then heated up the ice cubes and spoke about how ice turns back into water and then evaporates and becomes water vapor. Hey, it's melting! See you all soon. Till next time, enjoy having some great science conversation with your little one.